Arafat, Yitzhak Arafat, and Livewire Dave Desire are defending the honor of Penn State in a tag against their rivals, the Rutgers Revolution. This appears to be senseless violence, but this kind of wrestling and sports entertainment has become a billion dollar industry. So it seems that professional wrestling has taken the world by storm again. It's made its way to the schools, it's on the internet, it's in nearly every toy store, and it's even made its way to backyards. People who love wrestling aren't just limited to children. Young and old have fallen in love with the ring. Backyard wrestling is a pastime that is growing rapidly all over the United States. Wrestling in a backyard in Altoona, PA, these two young men say they hope to train to become professionals. And Steve Draboni says wrestling isn't as dangerous as some make it out to be. Well, it's okay, but the people gotta know that it's not real. I mean, kids I've seen on a TV show, but they use light bulbs and cheese shredders. We don't go that far. It's just how seriously you take it. Not all of the money is made in the ring. Professional wrestling merchandise is making huge profits. A spokesman for KB Toys at Nittany Mall tells us that professional wrestling toys are the hardest holiday items. From figures to inflatable chairs, consumers can find everything. I like this one. Wrestling is so widespread, it seems that every child has a favorite. Go, go, go. There is more to wrestling than the well-known WWF and WCW. There are hundreds of regional independent wrestling promotions worldwide. One wrestler, Nick Indeglio, is a fourth grade elementary school teacher. While Nick may seem aggressive in the ring, he is just the opposite in the classroom. Indeglio does not feel that his part-time job is a negative influence to his students. I think that the students who do watch really um have a decent perspective into what they are watching. Um, most of the students in my class have um, both them, and I know that they are supervised when watching those programs. Like the children realize the difference the between right? reality and so fantasy. This fourth grader does. Okay, one or two more things about what WWF is. The parts where they would like, hit them on the rail and stuff is all fake. It's fake? Okay, how, when you say fake, so are they you mean they don't hit the rails, actually? No, they, they go up. Not everyone agrees that wrestling does not have a negative WWF. effect. The Parent Television what Council is? is an organization formed to monitor television WWF. programs. The PTC feels that pro wrestling is a negative influence on children and is currently launching a campaign against the World Wrestling Federation. Alex Abrahantes, president of the Nittany Wrestling Federation, says it is not the responsibility of the WWF to change its programming to suit everyone. Well, many people feel that pro wrestling is a negative influence, especially parents. For those parents, I say this. If, they're, if they don't want their children to be influenced by pro wrestling, it's as easy as picking up the remote and changing the channel, or taking the responsibility and monitoring what their children watch. Though some may think that it is fake, it is not a sport, but the majority of wrestlers will tell you that wrestling requires a great deal of athleticism and is one of the toughest competition sports. Whether you love it or you hate it, pro wrestling as a sport entertainment is here to stay.